My name's Alton Petrie. I'm 26 years old. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Um, currently, I'm a full-time student, sociology major at Morehouse College. I was born in jail. My mother um, was incarcerated when she had me. Encounters with the police was very frequent for me, and which eventually led to um, me being arrested at the age of 18 for a crime that I did not commit. When I come to find out what happened, a restaurant was robbed. One robbery turned into four robberies and an attempted murder charge. And so, at this time, I know I'm innocent, 100% sure. Like, once they explain everything, I'm like, yo, this has nothing to do with me. And I know I was going to night school um, at the time because I was trying to compensate my, my credit so I could graduate on time. So I had my grandmother check and see if um, I was at night school at the time. So long story short, come to find out, I was at night school during the day and time of the incident. My night school teacher, she wrote a letter and sent the attendance roster stating that I was present. However, the juvenile courts failed to hear my cries of innocence. So I was incarcerated for about two years fighting my fitness, just the course process to determine if I'm fit or unfit to be tried as an adult. On my last court date, my lawyer, she, um, she said, I asked the uh, courts to dismiss the case. They're not going to do it. However, this is what I was hoping for. They offered me one year and one strike. Mind you, my charge is robbery and attempted murder. Attempted murder is 25 to life by itself. And so in this position, I'm faced with the conflict of do I admit to something I didn't do just to get this year and a strike? A year is nothing. I've already been there two years. Or do I say no and I go to a dope court where I face a potential 46 years to life sentence? I'm not, I, I just can't accept it. So I was sent to a dope court and, but that was the risk I was willing to take for my freedom. But through the great, with the grace of God, my case was dismissed within three days. That was in 2010. If you treat kids like criminals, or if you treat them like all of these people that they truly aren't, it's like you condition them to become that. You condition them to become that criminal. So if you place them in a the facility where it just bars and chains and locks, and then you're in there, you're in there amongst other youth who you know, they're perceived as criminals or well, you're just gonna learn how to become a better criminal. Treating kids like kids and not adults, for so long we can't buy tobacco or alcohol or enter the club, but once we make a mistake, you treat us like these adults, you say we never were. So I believe that if we could just focus on alternatives that really rehabilitate and educate the youth, Although they may have committed a mistake or a crime, that if you just really invest in them and de uh, develop their minds, that they will return to society productive members.